make carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. Stay tuned and you can learn how to make the frosting then the cake itself. So let's start out with our cream cheese frosting. First add a half a cup of melted butter or softened butter. Next add 8 ounces of softened cream cheese. Then add 4 cups of confectioner sugar. Then using a hand mixer, mix on low. After mixing everything together, it should look like this. Then you're going to add a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And mix again. Then this is optional, but you can fold in some pecans. After folding in the pecans, you're pretty much done. Just co cover it with some saran wrap and place it in the refrigerator and let's work on the carrot cake. So let's start out with our carrot. We're going to need about 4 carrots, which is equivalent to about 3 cups grated. So we're going to first peel our carrots. After peeling your carrot, grate your carrots. And grate all 4 of your carrots. So this is 3 cups of grated carrots. Let's go ahead and work on the rest of the carrot cake. So in a large bowl, beat in 4 eggs. Add 1 and a quarter cups of vegetable oil. And then add 2 cups of sugar. Then add 2 teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Then you're going to mix everything together thoroughly. Now mix in two cups of all-purpose flour. Then add two teaspoons of baking soda. Add two teaspoons of baking powder. And mix everything together. Then add half a teaspoon of salt and mix. Then add two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. And mix. Now we're ready to stir in our carrots. So gradually stir in some carrots, slowly. Then fold in a cup of pecans. So this is pretty much your carrot cake batter. Let's go ahead and grab any pan of your choice and grease that pan up and pour your batter. So go ahead and grease any pan you like. Typically carrot cake is in a square pan, but I like using a pie pan. You're ready to pour your batter onto your pan. Bake your carrot cake at 350 degrees for 40 to 50 minutes. Your carrot cake is ready after baking for 40 to 50 minutes. Now you're ready to let it cool for about 20 minutes. So after your cake has completely cooled, you're ready to put your cream cheese frosting on top. The carrot cake is ready and my husband's here to taste test it. Mm, Alright, here we go. All right. This looks so good. Like always. You always take the biggest bite. <laughs> you really like it. You're like giggling while you eat. Oh, that's so good. Once again, you're a master baker, honey. <laughs> that, you know, I, I love it because I don't, Okay, I don't like really, I don't really like raisins in carrot cake, and I, I love that this doesn't have raisins in it, and it tastes, the frosting on top is just perfect with the pecans, and the, the carrot is not too prevalent, you know, in the, in the carrot cake itself, and it's just, I, you should sell this, honey. I think, Ooh, I, I think you should sell it. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta open up a bake shop or something, because it is, it's good. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, friends, for tuning in. I hope you give the carrot cake a try. 
It would mean so much to me if you subscribe to my channel, Cook with April. Have a beautiful day. Mm. <laughs> Bye. Bye.